Welcome back everyone. And today we're going to be talking about two companies you should be absolutely avoiding right now. You should not be buying their stock. And I think you should stay away from these companies completely. Don't take risks with these companies. And I don't think they're good investments whatsoever. And I believe a lot of investors who are purchasing, purchasing these stocks are gambling and not investing. So before we jump into the two specific stocks that I'm talking about right now, we got to talk about overall market performance. So over the past year, we've seen some crazy market performance. We saw a 35% drop in the S&P and the Dow. And of course, we saw a nice shift in a V-shaped recovery where almost all that decline has been wiped away and we are reaching almost new all-time highs in these markets. Even with regardless of what's going on in the world and a lot of economic shutdowns, the stock market has powered through and we have seen a nice recovery. But with the economic shutdown, this did damage a lot of companies out there. Not all went through this and survived. So a couple companies actually had to file bankruptcy. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the stocks of two individual companies who have both filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And since they filed for bankruptcy, their stocks have seen huge surges in price. Their stock price is up over 2 to 400%. There have been single days where the stock price has over doubled or tripled in a single trading day. And we're going to talk about these two stocks and I'm going to share with you why these are risky investments and the people who are purchasing these stocks are really gambling and not actually investing. So we're going to take a look into this article here from Business Insider that talks about how day traders are piling into Hertz, JCPenney, and other bankruptcy stocks despite the massive risks. So those are the two companies we're going to talk about today. Hertz and JCPenney. And both of these stocks and these companies have filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And since they filed, after they announced that they have filed for bankruptcy, there was huge surges in the volume traded for their shares and the popularity of their stocks, which led to huge increases in the company's share price, even after they filed bankruptcy. So a couple key points in this article before we break down and take a look at each company's stock price and what happened with the stock. You can see here that day traders are betting on bankrupt companies, including Hertz and JCPenney, even though shareholders tend to lose in bankruptcy process. So in the bankruptcy processes, creditors get paid out before shareholders. Shareholders are usually on the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to receiving payouts. So with these people purchasing these bankrupt companies, hoping there's some upside in the future, there really may not be any there for these people. Of course, I cannot say what's going to happen. I can't have. I cannot predict the future and what's going to happen with these companies. Who knows? Some miracle may happen and they may come out of this. But in my personal opinion, looking at the stats and looking at the fundamentals, I think these are stocks that you should stay away from right now and not be jumping into. And the people who are looking for these trades are going in for short-term periods, trying to make nice some short-term capital gains, and they're essentially gambling. They're hoping that in the short term, this price of the stock goes up, they can get out quickly and make some nice quick cash. But that's, once again, I'm going to say it, it's not really investing. That's more gambling. So we're going to take a look here at one of a famous quote from an editor of Bloomberg that said right here, I don't think I'd ever have guessed that before bankruptcy itself would be an exciting investment theme. He shares the same opinion as I do. Companies going bankrupt should not be exciting. But with what's going on in the world and what's going on with these stocks, that's what's happening right now. So we're going to take a look at Hertz stock right here. So on the one month chart for Hertz, ticker symbol HTZ, current price per share is at $1.73. And like I said, we're on the one month chart. And you can see here that there has been this huge spike in share price. So we take a look, share price was trading at 82 cents per share on Wednesday, June 3rd, which led to a massive 574% growth in share price within a couple days. Let's take that into consideration. A bankrupt company, after it has filed for bankrupt, grew 574%. So there's a lot of people who purchased around this $0.82, cents, $1 per share mark. If they sold out at the right time, of course, they did make a lot of money. They could have doubled or tripled their money within a few days. But of course, all the people who purchased shares at the $4, $5 range and didn't sell out in time... Look where they are right now. Shares back down, huge decline from the all-time high that it reached there. Shares are back down 65%, 70% to where they are right now at $1.73. So 
So this is really a gambling play. People are trying to make short-term profits, and I believe these are the stocks that I want to share, in my opinion, are stocks to be avoided right now. This is not the stuff that you want to be jumping into if you want to be a long-term investor and you want to see that long-term capital appreciation as well if you choose to invest in dividend stocks neither of these companies pay dividends of course because they are filing for bankruptcy or they have filed for bankruptcy these are the companies you should be staying away from another article here is how it talks about robin hood users love hertz now and i'm going to show you a chart coming up about that shows an increase in robin hood demand for hertz stock compared to the dec decline in hertz stock price so it's very interesting to see. We'll take a look at that right after we talk about this few points here is Robinhood users love Hertz for now. The latest trend of investing in bankrupt and otherwise distressed companies is standard day trading on steroids. Day trading already, in my personal opinion, I believe to be a form of gambling. Some people make a lot of money in it and some people, some people lose a lot of money. But I've looked at different studies that compare day traders over the long term. And it's very hard for a day trader to consistently outperform the overall market over the long term. So that's why I've come to my own personal conclusion that I believe day trading is somewhat like gambling, which is what people are doing with these bankrupt companies. These investors appear not to be looking for long term gains, but rather the chance that they will be on the winning side of a wild volatility. In other words, they're speculating. Speculating, gambling, in my terms, they mean the same thing. According to, according to Robin Track, Hertz has been an especially hot stock for Robinhood. Over the past week, the company has been the number two most popular stock in portfolios. Only electric car company Nikola has seen a bigger surge, while JCPenney has been unavailable. Of course, they are now jumped in the second most popular stock on Robinhood. And of course, Robinhood is the type of platform for a lot of beginners who are just starting out and investing. They like Robinhood. It's a very simple platform to use. And these investors who and may not have the experience or maybe in there for the wrong reasons or looking for those short-term speculations or those gambles are jumping into Hertz stock after it filed bankruptcy. It has become the second most popular stock right behind, in my personal opinion, another speculative stock, NKLA, Nikola, I believe is another gamble, which I'll talk about in a future video. But these two stocks are the most popular stocks on this platform, which is primarily used for beginners, which just shows how these Robinhood users are taking gambles and making decisions based on short-term capital gains are hoping for short-term capital gains and not the long-term perspective, which a lot of investors have found success in over history. We're going to jump over here where I can show you that exact chart and we're going to take a look at what has happened after Hertz has filed bankruptcy. So if we take a look here, this is a price. This is a chart that shows the price of Hertz stock relative to the amount of users on Robinhood holding Hertz. So the pink line here is the price of Hertz share price. So as you see here, it was somewhat flat. Then we saw that huge decline with that increase in, increase in price right here with this sharp decline right after. This green line right here is the amount of users on Robinhood who are holding Hertz stock. So if you take a look here for the longest time throughout the early 2019, end of 2018, there was less than 20,000 users on Robinhood holding Hertz shares. I'm going to say around 10,000 on estimate here, just trying to follow this line. Then as Hertz was going through the financial um, bankruptcy process and filing for bankruptcy, as you can see, the stock price crashed. Hertz stock was going downhill. Yet look at the number of Robinhood users. Look at this green line. As Hertz stock fell and crashed all the way to the bottom, the number of Robinhood users shot up, reaching around 160,000 individual users on Robinhood invested in holding shares of Hertz, which led, which I'm going to believe was a factor and which helped lead to this huge increase in Hertz share price, followed by a massive sell-off. So this just shows that these Robinhood investors, they're jumping into bankrupt companies. And the same trend happened with the second company I'm going to talk about today, JCPenney. So on the one month chart here for JCPenney, one thing happened a little bit different compared to Hertz. JCPenney actually saw two increases in share price. So we take a look here. Shares were about 19 cents a share. If we take a look how fast they grew, over 184% growth in one to two trading days, led once again by a massive decline back to that previous price, a drop of over 60%. Now we're going to move fast forward a couple days. Less than a week later, shares are trading around 21 cents per share with another huge 200% growth in share price, once again within a matter of trading days. 
This is another company that filed for bankruptcy. JCPenney has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and this has happened post filing. So after these companies have come out and announced that they are now bankrupt and filing Chapter 11 bankruptcy, their share price saw two huge spikes and huge surges in price appreciation in a matter of days of 184% and 200%. There's a lot of people speculating and gambling on these kind of stocks right now, and I want to talk about these are the stocks you should be avoiding. Unless you are trying to be speculative, unless you are trying to go for that short-term gamble and hoping, and it's essentially like going to a casino and putting all your money on the roulette table on red, you're gambling and you're hoping that this price shoots up because there's no fundamentals right now backing any of these two companies. I believe it's straight gambling, and that's why I want to talk about them today and share with you my opinion on these are the companies you have to avoid. You, can, you shouldn't be dumping your money into these companies if you want to have a strong portfolio of assets that are going to provide for you over the long term. And my portfolio right here that I called the Financial Freedom Portfolio, currently at a value just over $44,000, I purchase strong dividend paying companies that have nice balance sheets, consistent cash flows that I believe are going to continue to operate and grow long into the future and provide that consistent cash flow and price appreciation over the long term. I value the money I contribute to this portfolio. I work, take my earned income that I work hard every day at my day job for and contribute that money into this portfolio. And I don't want to gamble. I don't want to risk that over stocks that are have no fundamentals behind it and have filed for bankruptcy and could potentially be worthless within, within a matter of weeks or months. I want to take that hard-earned money that I work for, that I earned, and when I feed it into this portfolio, I want to put it, I want to put gas on the fire. I want to make it grow and grow faster and faster without gambling. So that's what I want to talk about here. I really want to share that these are two companies that if you want to be a strong financial investor and you want to focus on growing that strong like passive income stream through dividends or some capital appreciation through stronger companies with actual cash flows and fundamentals that are operating right now, then you got to avoid Hertz and JCPenney. They're not right for you. Those are stocks you should stay away from, ignore, don't even bother, don't believe the hype. 99% of people who are trading those stocks are going to lose money. There's going to be some people who do make a killing and they're going to make the headlines saying they double, triple their money in a matter of minutes on these stocks. But the headlines are not going to show all the people who are losing money at the same time. So if my opinion, please stay away from these companies. Don't lose money. Be smart. Hold back. Don't jump into companies that have no fundamentals. There's so many strong companies out there on the market for you to throw your money at and invest in. Purchase shares of the companies you can sleep well at night. Go to bed knowing that your money's working hard for you and strong companies that are working hard every single day, generating revenues long into the future. So that's what I'm going to wrap it up today. I do appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.